Hey, what's up guys? So the roulette calculator step system has just got better. Well, clearer. So one of the new members on the network has basically given me a, a inspiration and a, told me how to make this a lot clearer when we're doing the step system. So I'm going to cover this again real quickly. I know my last video was the same thing, but this is actually a, a lot more clear and easier for, to understand, not just for the person using it, but for the people watching the step system. So typically what I would do, it's the same as before. If you get a loss, you step down. Okay. So you always go down. If you get a loss, you go down. If you get a win, you step up and then obviously there's an L in the way. So you have to go to the right. Now, normally if I got a win here, I would step up. Okay. Now the suggestion that he's made is whenever you get a win, you always step to the right and up. Okay. So that would make it a lot easier. So say we got a loss here, we're going to step down and you always step down with the losses. But if you get a win, you're always going to step up and to the right. OK, so if I got a win here, normally I would just step up because there's some blank spaces. But this would be better if we just step to the right like this and then say we got a win. We're going to step to the right like this and then say you get a loss. You step down, step down, step down, get a win. You're going to step up and to the right like this say you get a, um, a loss here. So this is what I would normally do. I'd put the loss there if you get the win, but it would make more sense to go to the right and put the loss in. So that's basically the way it's always going to be is there's going to be a win capping the bottom of every loss and it's always going to step to the right. So you're never going to have two wins on the same line. Okay. Uh, so say we got a win here, we're going to step across and then we get another win and a loss. And then we're always going to step down on the losses. And with the wins, we're always going to step to the right. I hope this makes sense, but it just makes it a lot simpler to actually see. So there's on each of these columns, the win will always be at the very bottom of every run. OK, in the steps. So it, it, it looks a lot nicer and a lot prettier and it's easier to follow instead of doing the wins and the losses on the same line uh, like before. OK, so this is the way that it would be better doing it. Let me just show you how I was doing it. So what I do is get a few losses and then we get a win. Then I'd get a win here Then say I'd step up. I get a loss. Then what I'm going to do is go across and step down and it, it makes it a little bit more difficult to understand. So say we've got a loss here, I would then get the win. And of course, we're going to have to step up to the right and then say we do this, we get a loss. So do you see what I mean? It makes it a lot more difficult to understand where you are instead of uh, basically making it the win always goes to the right hand side. So in this case, instead of that loss and the win going there, I would have stepped right and done the win. And then if I got the loss, I would then step right and put the loss in here. OK, and then say we get a few more losses and then a win. It's always going to be at the bottom of the losing streak. You get the win, but you're always stepping to the right every time you get a win. And that's just going to make it easier. So there will always be one win on each of these columns. OK, so that's just a, a, a new idea and a new concept that one of the members has suggested to make it easier for not only the, the user to follow, but the uh, people watching the videos as well, because sometimes it can look a bit messy when you're using this step system. So I really hope that uh, makes sense to you. So every time, just uh, to clarify, every time you get a loss, you're always going to step down every time you get a loss. OK, and if you get a win, you're always going to step to the right and up one. OK, so if it was like this, you would just be stepping across like this. OK, so there's only going to be a win on each of these columns running down. And then, of course, if you get a loss, it would be stepping down like this oh, double loss. <laughs> and then at the bottom, if you did get a win, you're just going to step up to the right. OK, and the step system, again, just to clarify, is one unit difference. OK, so every time you get a loss, you're stepping down, you're increasing by one unit. Every time you get a win, you're stepping up and decreasing by one unit until you get to the, the top. And obviously, if we did have the run of the wins going up like this, you're still going to be stepping right if you get the wins. OK, 
So I hope that uh, makes sense. It is a lot easier to follow. It makes a lot more sense. And uh, thank you. I really appreciate the idea of that. And uh, again, just a quick short video, but this is explaining how the step system works. Uh, maybe I cover it in a bit more depth in yesterday's video, but it's a, a very good idea. And I'm going to be using this method from now on in my gameplay sessions. So hopefully that will make it a lot easier. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Is this a, an easier way to understand the steps or do you prefer the original version? Please let me know and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bet smart. Subscribe now.